problem with these gentlemen having a barbecue here at the lake. She doesn't want to talk now. Uh, it's illegal to have a charcoal grill in the park here. No, it's not, actually. I just yeah, looked at the it map. Is. It says this is a designated barbecue area. No. It's a female. She's wearing a green... Uh, tell them I'll be here when she, they arrive, that I will be waiting uh, for them to arrive. You can tell them her name is Camilla Hudson. I have ID and will share it. Hashtag LWB, living while black. We in the African-American community see this oftentimes too much, and now we might have a situation with a YouTuber, and we'll discuss it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop a Life Gains video. You really, really enjoy my content? Join me over here at Patreon so you can donate to a brother, and also follow me on Stardust for 30-second movie review apps. Let's jump into the video. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is hell hosting Life Games channel. By the way, Wakanda forever. Well, we've got another potential situation of LWB. I call that living while black, where you have security officers called to get you. You have police called to get you. And we're going to talk about it because it involves one of my YouTube compadres, Jody at Jody's Corner. We're going to analyze the whole situation, but first, I got to put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, work on skilling up my craft, giving y'all a better YouTube experience, something better to look at, and go over to shoplifegains.com. That's my sales site. Check out the blog about something simple as that. I'm wearing this shirt in Jody's honor because he is a fanboy to DC. And he might not like some of the opinions I'm going to say, but I'm going to break this down for what I think happened in this situation. So y'all know we've got a lot of issues going on with African Americans in America. We've got Barbecue Becky, I think that's her name, Parking Lot Patty. We got um, Coupon Greg, where they're just calling the police frivolously on black people for trivial shit. Like, show me your ID when you live somewhere, or you, you're barbecuing and you're too loud, they don't like you, all that kind of stuff. Now, we might have this situation here with my man Jody. So to try to set this story up, then I'm gonna take you to the video live. My man is a YouTuber, he reviews movies. You know, YouTube is giving him a push, movie theaters is giving him a push, because he does a good job on reviewing movies, so go check out his channel. And he's going to see Mission Impossible to do a review, and him, and some of the other people in the line are loud. So he's a brother, and there are some white people in line that are loud. Now, the story is that he is thrown out. The, the, the movie theater folks didn't come to him. They just singled him out, sent security to get him. They tossed him out, but they didn't toss out any of the Anglo-Saxons or whatever. They just tossed him out. So you know he feels some kind of way about that. But we're going to pick up on this video when the police, I mean the security guard, excuse me, is coming to escort him out. Take a look, and then we'll come back. Here they come. Look, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. You coming for me? Yes, they're here to ask you to They're here for me. They're here to get me out. What I do? What you're doing now is what you did. So they're asking you to leave the theater. They don't want you to do that. They asked you not to do it. You keep they didn't ask, no one asked me anything. It's all lying. Uh, guess what? This is the first time anyone's talking to me about anything that I'm doing wrong. I'm asking you nicely to remove yourself from the theater, please. Are you guys going to move me out physically? Sir, I'm asking you not You're asking me nicely. What happens when you ask me meanly? Are you guys going to assault me? Sir, you plan on putting your hands sir, on me? Why are you being like this? I'm just asking. Can we step outside and talk to them? All right. I'm I, wait, 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 hold on. You can keep your camera running. Yo, oh yeah, I'm definitely keeping this motherfucker running. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all, hey, I want to make sure I say what I got to say first. They told me nothing in this place. They let me believe 
that I was still going to be in this line, and they called security to make sure they told me to leave without coming to me and having professional courtesy and saying, sir, you were loud today. I would appreciate it if you left. But what GoFobo did was they called security and waited for them to do the job and to tell me to get out. Okay, this is professional and courtesy. This is whack. Give me some courtesy. Hey, you know what they heard you? They said what you said. I'll leave. 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 That wasn't as chaotic a situation as it could have been. That was, we don't know based on the footage, and you can go watch the whole video, he's got it on his channel. If the movie theater did not address him, but more importantly, did not address the Anglo-Saxons that was being loud, then that is definitely a problem. Because why are you singling out him, but not getting everybody else that's loud in the line? We really can't determine that because we don't see evidence of that. So I'm just going by what I see evidence of. And what I see evidence of is the security guard, by the time they get to Jody, he's very hot. And I would be hot too if it went down the way that it's been reported it went down. I would be very hot too. But I feel like Jody could have handled it a lot better if he just left out because the security guard is Sergeant Potter, I think that's his name. Sergeant Potter handled himself beautifully. Sergeant Potter is an example of how an authoritarian figure or a law abiding figure should behave because not only did he let Jody vent, he didn't forcefully throw him out and then he wanted to hear his side of the story as he's getting him out of there and then when he got him out, Jody was still taking it up another notch because he's hot and I would be pissed too. He's hot because they're not only asking Jody to leave the movie theater, they're kicking this ass out of the whole entire mall. And I feel like if everybody else was loud, anyone else in that line that was loud should have been asked to leave too, right? And so I feel like Jody as a YouTuber could have handled that a little better. And like I said, I'm a, I watch his channel, I like his channel, I'm a fan. I might even ask him to let me interview him about what happened. I feel like at this on this particular situation, it was on Jody to de-escalate the situation, let the security guard know in a more de-escalated manner why he's upset, and maybe ask the security guard why is nobody else getting kicked out either, because this just ain't right. And he could have also you know, and he might do it because this just happened. Make a video on how that could have been handled better. Um, maybe let the people that run the movie theater in on a conversation and maybe have a positive outcome on how this could have been done better. Now, I'm hoping that when the movie theater and everybody sees what happened here, they'll come together, they'll come to a consensus, maybe they'll offer Jody to come and do some, see some movie reviews there or whatever, do some more reviewing of his channel there, and we can all come to agreement. Because we've had a whole lot of situations in this country this year where we're just frivolously calling the police on black people, and I call it LWB. Living while black, you get the police called on your ass. But in this situation, I think Jody had more of the control and could have handled it better but let's see what happens next in this situation. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you feel. Go check out Jody's full video and tell me your thoughts on that. And let's see what happens from this point. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Folks, don't call the police on black people just because we're doing something that you feel like is stereotypical wrong, even though you're not breaking a damn law. Let's just all come together, worry about getting the issues in this country fixed, and then we can get back to enjoying each other's company because we're supposed to be trying to help each other. That's what life is all about. Until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.